Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69 and welcome back to the channel. Before we get onto the video, this video is sponsored by Amazon App Store. If you haven't downloaded Amazon App Store yet, go download it. Go download World of Tanks Blitz from the Amazon App Store to get yourself 500 uh, coins for free. That equals 1,000 gold in game the links are in the, de in the description make sure you use the link um, to represent your country either the UK or the US you you can save yourself up to 20% by using the Amazon App Store against the Google Play Store and the iOS so it's worth doing go download it and save yourself some money let's get back to the video in today's video, we are taking a look at the T-30, the American T-9 tank destroyer, but it's not really a tank destroyer. This tank should be a heavy. It should be a heavy, and not only should it be a heavy, it should be in tier 10. And I'm, I'm gonna say that because the E-4, this is just way better than the T110 E4. And honestly, I reckon Wargaming should just swap them around, put the E4 in tier 9 and put the T30 in tier 10. This tank deserves to be in tier 10. Give it a, give it a bit more hit points and that is all you need to do. You don't need to give it any more alpha than it's got. You don't need to give it any more penetration that it's got. Just give it a bit more hit points and put it in tier 10. Either that or they can just change it to a heavy. They could change this to the heavy and they can change the E4 to a heavy because this is what this tank is. It is a heavy uh, with a big, big gun. Now the T30 was one of my favorite tech tree tanks for a very, very long time. And it still is to be honest. Like I don't play it as often as I, as I should, um, mainly because of the waffle mainly because of the waffle. The waffle is the only TD in T9 that stops me playing the T30. Now, they are completely different. They are completely different. They don't play the same, but if I was to play a TD, I would now just go and pick the waffle. I do think the waffle is just an amazing tank, but having said that, so is the T30. The T30 is amazing in just a different way. It's got gun depression, it's got penetration. You don't need to shoot Pramo in this thing says me who is shooting APCR in the E100, but you don't need to, you don't need to. If the E100 is looking directly at you, you don't need to shoot APCR. But even, even with the APCR, you can see just how easy the penetration is on that tank. Now, I'm not sure if I've actually got APCR loaded uh, accidentally or not, because you can see I'm not looking at changing it. Um, I can't actually remember why I have, oh, there we go, we've changed it back. We've realized we've changed it back. So you don't really need to shoot APCR in this thing. The AP is, is good enough now the only thing about this tank is the deep is, is uh, the only bad thing about the tank is the dpm now the dpm this is a nice shot by the way uh, the dpm is very low if, if it's actually the the second worst in in tier 9 tds the only other tank worse um is the wz111 the chinese tier 9 uh, tank destroyer other than that most of the other tds have got over 3000 dpm in tier 9 this has 2500 so that's massive that's actually a big big change but what has it got what has it got to take over that dpm what's it got to swap with the dpm because the others have got dpm but they they haven't got armor look i'll look at the waffle for instance it hasn't got armor it's got a lovely gun it's got speed what has this got because it hasn't got speed it hasn't really got armor um but it does have penetration and it does have an amazing turret. The turret is very strong, very strong. It does have a tiny hatch on top, but you, you can make that difficult for the reds to penetrate, um, easy. So it is a lovely tank and I still do enjoy playing it. I love playing the tank. I'm, I've always loved playing the tank, but I definitely think this should be in, in tier 10. Look at the, the hatch on this compared to the hatch on the E4. The E4 is just, way too easy to penetrate on the hatch where this at least you can go hold down use that gun depression and nothing is getting through that turret hardly anything is going to get through that turret now what i like about this is because it needs to be in tier 10 when you do come up against tier 10 you can actually hold your own i mean we've just aced that tank there we are going to watch uh dark lord um and he's in tier 10 as well so the worst thing about tier 9 
I, I mean, I love playing tier nine. It's one of my favorite tiers. It used to be my worst tier, but now it's actually one of my favorite tiers um, to play. But the only thing with tier nine is you just come up against tier 10 so often, so often. Uh, and I just want to see myself come up against more tier eights because this tank in tier eight is a god. It really is a god. If you can get on a map like Mines or um, Dead Ray or anything that you can use the gun depression and you can use that amazing turret, then you're going to do well. You're do as long as you're angling correctly, as long as you're moving, not just sat in one position, because if you are sat in one position and not moving, then of course the enemy can aim in at that hatch and they can do damage. So you bear that in mind. Um, but don't take too notice. Don't take too much notice on the DPM of of the tank, um, because it does have the, the lowest DPM. But it is one of the best tier nine uh, tank destroyers in the game. I mean, look at the SU one two two fifty four, the highest DPM tank in the entire game. I would prefer to play this than that. Now, this has over a thousand DPM less than that tank. But I still prefer to play this than the SU because of the armor, because of the armor profile, the, the turret, mainly the turret, anything that is going through your your hull. You haven't got a strong hull. And because you're an American tank, be careful because you can be HE'd from the side. And of course, you can be HE'd from the rear. So always try and face your enemy. And that goes, goes to say with any American uh, and any American tank, any French tank, um, and any British tank, having said that. So always face your enemy. Use that gun depression wisely. Um, use the use the turret of the tank. If you start using that, start using the gun depression and start doing all that, then you will perform. You will perform really well in in this tank. Don't get caught out in the open. You can get circled. You're not quick enough to not be circled. Now, I don't know why Wargaming didn't give. I mean, it would have been nice for Wargaming to give the. Uh, the, the extra speed boost for this tank um, but then again having said that if they did I think it would be broken uh, even more um, but I would love to see this in tier 10 one day I'd love to see Wargaming either I can't I don't even want to say nerf it I want them to say buff it but then if they buff it then the E4 they don't even have to nerf they don't even have to nerf all they need to nerf is the hit points that, that, that's all they need to do just swap the hit points uh, and swap the tanks then that will that will be good that will be good i'd love to see this with a bit more hit points in in tier 10 um because you come up against tier 10 uh, mostly anyway other than you, well you you get in 10 games you're probably facing like tier 10 eight eight of them seven minimum um, which is a shame because I love coming up against the uh, tier 8 tanks in this thing, especially tanks like RU251. So there we go. That is the T30. It is a heavy. It should be in tier 10. It's not a TD. Do not play this tank like a TD. If you play this tank like a TD, you are playing it wrong. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Meadzy, and I'll catch you soon. Bye-bye.